Hi there. Thanks for joining me today. If you're new here, welcome to a bit of my day. I'm Catherine up in Canada and I've been working on creating a journal out of this old illustrated history of all nations <laughs> from 1909 and turning it into a junk journal and uh, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, before I get into it, I just want to say thank you to everyone who sent such uh, kind get well wishes um, for me last week and uh, they they did the trick. I, uh, I certainly am feeling um, back to normal. So that was good. Um, so you'll see here that I did get the signatures sewn in and made into a text block and then glued in so it's all it's I'm just really really happy with it and I even I'm hoping you can see oh um, it's hidden hollowback spine. I put a little tiny bit of lace in the top and bottom. Let's turn this around. There we go. That's better. Or better. Um, I'm going to fix the camera. Hold on. I'm going to pause and adjust. There we go. That's better. At least for me it is. I hope it's better for you. Um, what, and now I forget where I was. I don't, I don't picture this uh, journal as going to be a frilly, frilly kind of journal. I, I predict this journal will be more like a hunter-gatherer kind of journal. Of course, it's an all sorts book. I'm just in, I, it may be the year of all sorts for me. Um, I've been craving it, and you know what? The heart wants what it wants. I always say that. And uh, so I was stumped for the end papers. They, the original ones were just blank. We can't have that. And especially we can't because now, of course, we've glued in the text block. So... Uh, I was I went through all my scrapbook paper. Um, I went through things like I have um, William Morris wrapping paper, and I have all kinds of books of antique maps, and I have um, anyhow. I have a lot of interesting things that would make for great end papers. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. It was just one. Usually my sneezes come in twos. My dad's used to come in threes. So now I'm nervous. Where's the other one? Anyhow, um, I was stumped and then I remembered, oh, I think I know what I want. But will it be wide enough? I have this. And I have two rolls of it. I'm so happy. Um, wallpaper border. I really, really love it. Kind of uh, appropriate with the eclipse happening on Monday. Um, anyhow, uh, it is wide enough. In fact, it's just a smidge too wide. So we're going to have to adjust it. But um, I think it's going to look really, really cool as end papers. So, um, see what I mean? It's a little, a little bit too wide, but um, we can fix that. And then the other side, uh, the sun is starting to go down. And that's, I'm going to put that one at the end of the book. So I think that uh, midday and end of book. So I like that. And then uh, in order to get those pieces, that left me with some pieces. So maybe I'll find uh, somewhere to fit those in. 
either into this journal or they'll go into another journal somewhere else. So let's move this out of the way for now. And uh, we will adjust the width. And, uh, and glue these end papers in. And then maybe I'll show you some of the... Um, I'll show you some of the tags I've been making to put in. I'm just going to take a smidge off both sides. So let's see here. Make sure I've got that right. Oh, and of course, it's, it's going to need ink. I th this is going to be a challenge to glue down, I fear, because it's curly. But that's all right. We're up for it. We're up for a challenge, right? There we go. So I hope you've all been well. I was able to lay around in my cozy chair and catch up on lots of videos, which was a nice treat. <coughs> Pardon me. And even come up here a tiny little bit, I am going to take just the teensiest bit off this end. I was even able to come up here and just work in little bits, but because they took two little little samples out of my liver, it's up under your ribs, and I was just a little bit tender there, and sitting too long would make my ribs hurt, or standing too long would make my ribs hurt. So I would just do little things here and there and then and then uh, I would uh, go back and find my cozy chair and uh, watch some more videos so that was uh, that was decadent and a uh, nice treat to be able to to do that there we go and do I want to I'm just going to take a little smidge off this end a smidge being a scientific measurement term for us junk journalers. There we go. Alrighty then. Okay, so I think I should get some things ready ahead of time before I glue this down. I'm going to use my newest fabric hack because it flows the nicest this bottle of three in one is starting to thicken up a bit, so I'm not I'm gonna leave that be. I'm going to get my favorite chip clips. Hold on. These are my favorite chip clips that I got at the dollar store, and I like them because they're round and they don't leave marks. Uh, on old books. They don't leave dents. I used to have to pad all my... When I used these things all the time, I used to have to pad them with thick bits of fabric. And now I find with those chip clips, they it's just beautiful. So that's... Uh, that's handy. So let's see if this is a better size now. Yes, perfect. Now I'm happy. I'm really happy especially because this color 
actually looks very close, although it looks like it's black, it looks very close to this, this almost, it's almost like a denim blue. So, um, I realized I want to ink. Are you shocked? <laughs> I am going to ink. So, now which color ink do I want? Walnut? Do I want coffee? Maybe I want coffee. Just go subtle because this is pretty bold. We have had the weather week all over the place. We've had, well, today we've got sunshine and it's like 11 out there, Celsius. But we've also had, just where we live in our little town, two towns over, they didn't get a thing. We had snow. And then we had two days of really, really bad um, wind, bad enough that my husband had to put out pieces of wood to prop against our fence. We were worried that uh, our fences were going to come down. So uh, I was glad when that eased up. It um, it was so windy that it was so loud. Um, we could hear it all night long. Zooming past our windows. There we go. Now I think I'm going to try and curl this backwards a bit and see if I can get it to um, lay a little flatter for me till I can at least get it glued down. Although you're watching this on a Sunday, it's actually Saturday for me and my little Kirby book sale starts today. But I'm not there. I, I don't feel up for that. There's stairs and I'm just, I'm not ready to do that yet. But uh, I'm sure by next weekend um, I will be there. And I bet, I bet this weekend it's, hopefully it's going to be nice and busy for them. Although over the winter we lost um, one of the wonderful volunteers. He had been battling cancer. And, um, and it'll be sad not to see his uh, happy face. Boy, talk about always cheerful, always happy, always story to tell me about what his latest grandchild was up to. I'm just going to put this. No, that's too high. What can I put under here that will just lift it just a little bit? I think I already recycled the um, text block, although it might be in the next room because I would use it for, um, to shred for when I ship journals. I usually shred the text blocks for, um, to, as packing around the books 
in case any of our postal systems are a little too vigorous with my babies. You can put fragile stickers on it. I swear some of them think that that means chuck it as hard as you can. Do the edge last so that it's the freshest and I get a nice hold, or at least that's always my hope. And I'm hoping because this is acetone glue that it's going to behave itself when I put this down and make sure I don't have any on my fingers. Rock. Rock. I hear a new dog out there, and I think we have neighbors who have a new dog. That's a new bark. I recognize most of the barks. You know, for the midnight howl and all that. Middle of the day howl. <laughs> Over there, they've got a little schnauzer, and over there, they've got a half Rottweiler, half Poodle, or a Rotty Doodle. I don't know what they looks. It looks like a Bernadoodle, but he and I asked him if that's what it was, a Bernadoodle. He said no. He almost offended. It's half Rottweiler. Oh, excuse me. And then he proceeded to turn around and insult my little dog and say, where's the rest of your dog? To which I replied, no, good things come in small packages. And uh, walked away. I thought, okay, well, now I know which neighbor to avoid. I think some people, I don't know, they think, maybe they think they're being funny, insulting. Like, I wasn't insulting his dog. I was, you know, when you see dogs, and it's obviously a mixed breed, it can be fun to say, all right, you know, let me guess, because <laughs> it's fun. I love when people try and figure out what Kirby is. And she's a shadoodle. <laughs> Mommy was half Shih Tzu and half Poodle. And Daddy was 100% Poodle. So there we go. Oh, I do like that. That's nice. All right, we will let that dry and we'll work on the other one. Where did it go? No. Haha, <laughs> there it is. Let's uncurl it first. So, it feels nice to be back in here. 
I'd walked past my room and the heart wanted so badly, I'll just do this. And then I'd hear my husband say, you better not be in there. <laughs> He's a good boy He's looking out for me. There we go. Okay. So we'll put a little coffee on this. Maybe by then I can take those off and use them on the back. This was one of those finds at a thrift store that I thought, this is just too good to be true. First of all, how cool. Not many people do wallpaper borders anymore. I, oh my goodness, I remember one, the geese with the ribbons around the neck. I swear every friend, every lady at church uh, had that in their kitchen in pink and blue. <laughs> The geese with bows around the neck walking in a row. My mother was thrilled when during that era, I think it was the 90s, 80, late 80s and 90s, when everybody was decorating in dusty pink and dusty blue and dusty turquoise. Oh, my mother was in heaven. My mom is a, my mom's a pink lady, but if you ask her, she'll tell you her favorite color is yellow, <laughs> but pink everywhere. The house I grew up in had a pink toilet, pink bathtub. <laughs> And then when they bought their condo to retire, it was brand new building so that she was able to choose um, you know, choose the kitchen cabinets, choose the flooring. Well, of course, there was Broadloom. She wanted Broadloom everywhere, which actually for two seniors is very wise. It's warmer on their feet. Um, it was pink. And the sofa was baby blue with pink flowers on it. And she was happy, so my dad was happy. They had the kind of marriage. It was very sweet. She could put her hands on her hips and look around a room and go, this paint needs freshening up. It needs a new color. And usually by the end of the next day, my dad would be putting the second coat on. <laughs> or she'd look up and say, this needs a new light fixture in here. And by that afternoon, they'd have been to the light store and picked out a new light fixture and dad would be putting it up. He, uh, he very much loved to make her happy. They were, I think they were the poster children for the, that saying, happy wife, happy life. There we go. Okay. Let's do the back. this rock here to lean against. And that's going to go that way. That looks really nice. I'm really, really happy with 
that. <sighs> yep, happy girl. Happy, happy girl. All right, let's lean that. And where's another rock? There. So maybe spring will finally be here to stay now. They're saying 11s and 12s for the next few days. So that's nice. I'll take it. Hubby's working today, so it's just me and Kirby. Make sure I got enough glue on this. I'm a little worried, like I said, because this is wallpaper. So that's wallpaper glue on this side. Sometimes it can be persnickety trying to glue it down to something else. Sometimes it doesn't like other glues. Roll this off. But it's nice, it gives me time to move things. I think one of the only things I don't have as far as gear. And I keep watching for them at my thrift stores is a brayer. I don't have a brayer. I have fingers, so that'll do. on here and maybe it won't mind if we do a little tour of some of the what's that doing behave yourself Boy, every once in a while I say things and I hear my mother's voice coming out of me. <laughs> Behave yourself. How many times I heard that growing up. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right, so let me put this lid on and uh, we've got a couple of minutes. Well, I'll be able to say at least I glued two things. Oh, I want to put this in. I found this in my white whale tail tab drawer and it's got the right blues and it's got a little bit of red so it's going to go in somewhere. Um, 
I've put the card back in just so that I could look at it because I love the colors of it and it's perfect for in there. I think I'm going to run some washi down here. This 1909 paper looks like it's going to want to try and crack. So I might put some washi on this side and some washi down here. I'm seeing it right here, so down here. So uh, that'll be on my list of to-do things that I can do just off camera. But I'm really, really happy with, uh, so far with the few things that I'm that I'm doing. I have been writing years for the books, like this is 1922. I like her. She's driving the car. Haha. -ha. One of the few pockets that I put in. Now what did I do? I made this and I really like it. Let's go over and look at it. There's our lady we did together. She's still very happy where she is. I made one of our movable tabs using those Tim Horton Tim Hortons. <laughs> so Canadian. Tim Holtz um, photo booth photos. And uh, so there's that handsome fella. And then maybe that was her a few years later. And uh, she went back to their photo booth. And, and uh, I like that there's stars up in the sky and a moon. That's kind of appropriate, too, with the eclipse this week. And I even, I don't know if you can tell, but the staple that I used, I alcohol inked it so it looks a little bit rusty. <laughs> How's that for having too much time on your hands? Oh, she looks so cute there. What a face. Uh, where are we here? Another movable tuck spot. This one can go up there or anywhere along here. And this one is movable as well. It was black and white. I aged it, but I haven't glued it. What I'm using is the paper clip. I rusted it. And I think I'm going to put a little dangly charm onto there. And uh, that way the new owner can move this to anywhere they want in the book. And then this one I rather like. I made it specifically for a shorter page. It still sticks out about half an inch. But... It couldn't really be used on a full-size page because it would stick out a good inch and a quarter. And uh, maybe that would be good f for, you know, to remind you where you were working, I guess. But it's, it's really better for um, a shorter page. And I made it from this funny little wonderful book that I found at my local St. Vincent de Paul. I paid two fifty dollars for it. And it had never been used. And it's just full of awesome, awesome Tim Holtzy kinds of things. So uh, I just found two things that were the same width. They don't have to be the same length and uh, and made one of those for there and put a post postcard on the back. So I guess it can go in either direction. You could put the postcard as the side sticking out. That's just as nice. So I still need to make a few more and um, and I want to put this somewhere and I want a little bit of lace. But um, not too much. I think I might even just use some lace on a rusted bulldog clip um, just to stick out the top. And uh, 
rather than having any lace down the profile. I'm already liking this profile. I think that looks, that definitely looks like an all sorts book. She's just divine with her ticket to, to you can go to the opera and hear her sing. So. There's one page, I only used one page from the original text block. It was mostly um, not very nice black and white photos of excavations in Egypt for uh, that were in this volume of the book. But there was one page that I did put in just to honor the book, besides the original front page. Now, where is it? Do you think I can find it? It's in the center of one of these. Oh, I hope that's, hope that's pencil. I hope I can erase that. See, now I'm determined to find it before I say goodbye. Nope. 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 Well, it's disappeared. There it is. So I actually wrote on it from original text block 1909 so that the new owner can know that that page actually was in the text block. But otherwise, I really didn't enjoy um, the rest of the text block, the photos weren't really very interesting and wink and blink and a nod. So cute. Alrighty, well, I'm going to get to work off camera and uh, do a few more little tags to stick out the sides or maybe out the top. And then I think I will just leave this um, wonderful journal uh, mostly naked. So thanks for joining me today. And um, hopefully this means that uh, I'll be back up in my room and maybe put out a couple more videos this upcoming week. That would be nice. I uh, have a couple of appointments this week, but nothing that should take up too much time. So I hope you have a great week and uh, we will get together soon and uh, hopefully I'll have something interesting to talk about. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Bye.